In this video, we're going to cover custom domains, otherwise referred to as CNAME, which allows us to change the URL of our images within Hyperize. First off, we need to go to our settings, which is within our main account menu, and choose here. And within settings, we choose CNAME. Within our CNAME, before we've added a domain, we have an option here to assign a new domain. Simply clicking that, we can just type in the domain we wish to use. In this example, I'm using img.hyperi.se as a replacement for the, 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 the default hyperize.io. In terms of the subdomain part, in this case we're using img, this could be whatever you want it to be. So, for example, you might want to have CDN or IMG or PIC or, or whatever, or full, the full image word, whatever it is your preference in that regard. Once you've added in your subdomain, simply click next and we'll go to the verification point. At this point, we're given two values that we need to set up from a DNS perspective. The first is our host, IMG, of the domain we're adding, and we will point that to our Google host solution. The second, we'll create a second record where the subdomain is, is the reference which is specific to ours and then a validation key. This gives us the full verification process we need. J simply jumping over the DNS, you can see I've already created those two records. The first one here is our IMG, img.hyperi.se as a CNAME record and we're pointing that to ghs.googlehosted.com again which is the exact information provided um, it, via the wizard process. Once we save those we can then add the second record and if I edit that you can see the details for that one. So that first. As we can see here we have the unique key that has been provided by the platform and dot and then whatever our uh, original entered host name would be. So in this case, img.hyperi.se and then again, a CNAME record which points to and just the whole value that we have there. And again, we can see where we would put that in our own cloud platform DNS that we're using here. Once we've added those two and our DNS and saved that, we can then simply click next on here and that will verify that your, um, your details are correct. It may be once we've once you've first added those, it may take a little time for those to be verified, um, sometimes up to 24 hours. But when, after 24 hours, if it's not verifying, please do contact us or contact support. And it could be that there has been a, an issue with ent um, entering those details. Once you've um, got past this stage, click continue. And then we'll see here progress is, um, or the status is in progress. When we go to images, once um, once the image has been set, we will see at the moment our default image here of hyperize.io. That will change automatically once the domain has been verified. We can go back to CNAME at any point and we'll see the status. So once that status has been completed from within from in progress to um, completed. Like I said that could take another 12 hours for that to complete with our um, background processes. Once that those progress processes are completed, then within images we will see the updated URLs. Um, from that point on, within the hyper campaign and within images, we'll always see. Ah, we can see here it has updated now. So we can see hyperi.se we've got a notification there we can see we've had a notification so your domain hyperized was successfully mapped and also now we can go back to settings and we should see the status of that it's now changed to active also we'll see that change reflected in the hyper campaign once we choose an image we choose an integration we'll see here all of our image urls are now referred to hyperide.se which is the custom domain we set. I hope this video has been useful walkthrough. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.